I enjoyed the afternoon, but my greatest joy was actually to see our next door neighbors that we'd invited. They're an unchurched family, lovely family. They came by, I saw them there by the Jesus, the baby Jesus set up, and they were just thrilled. They said, professional set up, they've really enjoyed their afternoon, and if they enjoyed it, it's worthwhile for me. On Sunday the 9th of December, Newbold Church hosted its first Living Nativity. And what a great time we had. Everyone who came was first of all met by Isaiah, reciting some of his prophecies about the coming of the new king. Some were even blessed with some Hebrew citations. We were then taken to a modern family who were trying to retell the story and a father trying to stay awake. They set the scene for us as we then continued on in our journey and met some wise men even though we were perhaps beginning to wonder exactly how wise they really were following a star and, and leaving family behind and everything that they knew. But we went to, to Mary and, and were uh, taken along with her great encounter with an angel and how she was willing to be used by God. We stopped by Joseph's workshop and yes, we were taken into his mind. What was he thinking about? as he had to understand how he was to fill part of God's plan. We followed their journey and ended up with shepherds, one of them whom thought that he had some kind of prophetic intuition, something was going to happen, and it surely did. They were blessed by an angelic chorus singing to them about the coming of the new baby Jesus. Fortunately, we ended up with the scene, with Mary and the baby and Joseph. And of course, to the sound of live sheep and goats and donkeys, bringing us back to perhaps what it might have been like the evening when Jesus was born. I was part of the um, narrators and I was actually the welcoming narrator to this event. People were excited and I had the excitement with them. And I think it's a great thing that the church has done. Um, it was good to see that the different parts and people taking part in different roles were really living the roles and experiencing it and trying to act and pretend that we were the, those people in those times. Um, this is an experience that I hope will continue to go on for a very long time. Um, it's a credit to the church, a credit to the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Newbold, and it's definitely a credit to all the people who have taken part tonight. This evening, it was a privilege to be part of this team and to be part of this living nativity. What do you think? I think that was marvelous. I really enjoyed it. That was, yeah. For me, that was something first time and I really enjoyed this. Right. So we were Mary in the living nativity. Yeah. And we really enjoyed it. It was fun. We had to act out the scene when Angel, when Angel Gabriel comes and tells Mary that she's having a child. Um, it was a great experience. Uh, the sheep were a little bit rowdy, but we uh, shepherded them as our job entails. Um, we loved it. We were out there, entertained the, the community, and uh, we just thank God for the gift of life and, and his son. But one of the sheep went, meh. Oh! <laughs> I know! I know! Seriously! It, it's, it seems ridiculous, but in my gut, I have this feeling. I, I feel like... I feel like... Wait, what do you feel? Do you feel like we're being watched? No! We're about to... What? Ah! What? Oh my gosh, what? get out of here, quick! Who's that? <laughs> Don't be afraid? How can you tell us not to be afraid? We know who you are. And we know who we are. Of course we're scared. I bring good news. Good news for us? We're only shepherds. Why we're less than nobody? <laughs> It's really amazing to be part of this today and see it all come together after so many months of planning. It was great to be able to share the good news with all of our neighbours and friends in Binfield. 
I would like to tell you really that my dream came true, that we had 150 volunteers from this church volunteering in this huge project and I knew exactly what I was facing and how hard I should be working when I started thinking about this project. Uh, but I had support from so many people and uh, that's what my vision was when I started that project, that Newball Church can do something like this and that everybody can chip in and do their own bits and pieces and uh, we have a huge project and success like this. Um, I had someone telling me today after we put scenery and marquees and gazebos that uh, everything's going too well and it's too good to be true that something's going to happen but nothing went wrong and I think that uh, angels were watching over us and uh, we had a wonderful time and beautiful weather. Everyone who came by had a great experience and we're looking forward to perhaps doing it again. We hope to see you there again next year.